Tapoki, who of course, if you go through the record books, beat last year's winner, kind of ready, in the Midland Coffee Derby final last year. That would be a twist of fate as well. Charlie Lisson looking for his fifth derby. The crowd getting ready. John Forster waves the flag for the final derby that he's officiating on. The hair is going round for the William Hill Dotcom Derby Final for 2010. The favourites in Trap 5, Tumor Line Jack, hoping to keep his unbeaten record and trying to make it six from six over here. Away we go, racing out towards the first bend and away fast is Larry Mover. And it's going to lead into the first bend from Tumor Line Jack racing in second half. These comes third, Adagio on the outside. Then comes one around Classic. Off these comes three Bandicoot to Bogey. who lands the spores for Charlie Lister. They say that Charlie gets them out. Not only does he get them out, not on this occasion, he gets it across the line. The fifth derby, Ian Sutherland will be well pleased. He's taking the Cornix there from Dolores Ruth we saw. But what a race we've seen here, watching the action again as they come into the bend. It's Lyrian and Mover who's got the lead into the first bend from Tumalain Jack in second. Bandicoot to Pokey, the eventual winner, in fifth at this stage. But as it come down towards the third bend, Lyrian and Mover and Tumalain Jack bump each other at that third bend. And you can see that trap one was trying to move up around Classic for John McGee. Nowhere to go. Bandicoot to Pokey still in fifth. But all of a sudden, Tupoki flies up the home straight. He sees an opportunity inside Lyre Mover as they come towards the line around Classic, finishing on this side. Krug 95 not far away, and not far away was Trap 6 Adagio as well. But it's a win here for Bandicoot Tupoki and Charlie Lister. What a tremendous race we've seen. And if you threw over a huge blanket, you'd get them all over those six greyhounds unbelievable scenes here